and then I'll be doing my um, PEG irrigation validation. Um, first, we're going to. Um, you're going to stop any bolus feedings uh, 30 minutes prior um, if the patient's on bolus feedings, whatever the doctor's order um, says will depend on what you'll be doing. Then you're going to check for bowel sounds. All four quadrants. I'm gonna check for bowel Okay. Um, normally the peg tube will actually be in this area. Um, we're going to pretend today. You're gonna check around the site, uh, check the stomach for distension, make sure that there's no redness or swelling in the area. Then we're going to um, we're gonna be checking for any residual. You're going to clamp it. Open this. Open this here. Connect this. Unclamp it. You're gonna pull back for residual. Anything under a hundred, you're gonna push back and over. You're going to discard and notify the doctor. You also want to look at the color and the consistency of the residual um, a, a day after surgery when it's been placed. That's why you don't have to check the x-ray because this is surgically placed the peg tube. Um, you'll see a little bit of, of red blood in there, but after that, after days after that, you shouldn't be seeing anything. This was under it's only 30, so we're going to be pushing that back in. Clamp it. Then we want to irrigate. So we're going to be drawing up 30 cc's of tap water. Okay. Then we're going to make sure it's 30 cc's. Attach, unclamp. You're going to flush slowly. I'm irrigating slowly, I'm sorry. Clamp it. Close. And that's it. Oh, 